on the left hand side it's over 60 centimeters so it's quite it's quite large there were three figures um, that were cut off two men and a child who looks over a balustrade um, and it really gives the painting a different dynamic and what we what it taught us is that Rembrandt never does what you expect he paints a portrait with the two main characters the captain dressed in black and his lieutenant dressed in white um, when the painting was cut they were standing exactly in the middle uh, very symmetrical but Rembrandt didn't intend it that way with, with the original pieces next to it they're off center and in the painting the captain orders the lieutenant to form the troops and to march out so there should be movement and by putting them off center Rembrandt creates this dynamic because they're walking out towards you and they're walk, walking towards the center We made an incredibly detailed photo of the night watch and through artificial intelligence or what they call a neural network, we taught the computer what color Rembrandt used in the night watch, which colors, um, what his brush strokes looked like. And also um, we um, took out the, the distortions in perspective because the artist was sitting at one corner, the distortions of perspective in the copy. Um, and that, that knowledge we projected, or the computer projected, on the pieces that you can still see in the copy, but you couldn't see in the original anymore. We very carefully aligned the two images and then we virtually cut them up into thousands of small tiles and we trained the computer when shown a small tile from the copy how to imitate that so that it looks like the tile from the real night watch. When we ask the computer to mimic the style of Rembrandt, then not only does it mimic the color and the, the texture of the brush strokes, it also sees that in the real night watch that there are crack patterns everywhere, so that when the computer tries to imitate this style, it also imagines crack patterns, even though they're not present in the copy. Rembrandt would have definitely done it more beautifully, but this comes very close.